Hello, Cancer. Good morning, good afternoon, <clears throat> good evening, good night, whenever you come across this reading. I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all feeling? To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. Reverse the roles. How they fit in your life, Cancer. I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles. How they fit in your life, all right? I do need y'all to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations all in my readings, okay? So I'm not going to hold you long, so please stay with me. Don't forget to push like and share. But I'm not going to hold you long. This is not going to be a long video. So please, uh, let's get started. Let's, um, let's see what spirit guys have for you. I ask you to give me clarity and understanding. Most of all, I need your protection spirit team. Okay. So let's see what the energy is for you. Okay. I'm not going to hold you long. Thank you. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is in your energy. Ooh, seven of seven of cups in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Ace of Wands. The Moon card. Ooh, thank you. And the um, Knight of Wands. Okay. So what this is telling me is that you have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. OK, you could be with a lifelong partner right now, or if not, this is about to happen. OK, for some of you, if this is not a partner, this is definitely something that you're creating. OK, your passion, cancer, maybe this is uh, going to be generational wealth. OK, maybe some of you are about to come into some type of financial uh, blessing that's coming into your life. OK, a payout that's coming into your life. This is a Ace of Wands, passion, intimacy. So I really feel like someone could be coming into your life that's going to add a lot of value into your life or you're going to add a lot of value. You're going to add a lot of value into each other's life. OK, so also you have the seven of cups in the reverse and you have the moon card. The moon is all, all an illusion. The moon could be the fear of the unknown. The moon is something hidden that you don't know about. But you with this ten of pentacles and this seven of cups in the reverse, you're getting ready to have options. OK, you're getting ready to have op options. OK, some money is coming towards you that you don't know about. You got the Knight of Pentacles, but you got the Knight of Wands here, which telling me it was slow moving, something you've been waiting on, but it's picking up pace. OK, it's picking up pace. It's coming. OK, um, it's it's on its way. This night, it is definitely on its way. OK, it was slow, but your Pentacles, your money is about to come. I don't know who this is for or this is someone with their offer. They was moving slow, but now they're beginning to pick up the pace and come in and offer you something. So this can mean some money to you. This can mean uh, some type of connection to you. OK, yeah, you're looking real good out there. Cancer, you're looking real good. Single. This is the single card, the nine of Pentacles. All right. Woo. You get ready to take a leap of faith or someone's going to take a leap of faith towards you. Cancer. All right. You're looking good, honey. You ain't got time for the BS. And when I tell you, you're single, you're looking good, you're grounded and you ain't taking no mess. So it's like Miss Paul's the thoughts, the energy that if they come to me, they got to come to me correctly. OK, so, yeah, you've also been in isolation. That's how that's that's your best self sometimes to be in isolation, to go within yourself. You may have Virgo heavy in your chart. Uh, you may have Virgo somewhere in your placement. If you do, check out Virgo's reading. It may also uh, resonate with you as well, okay? But you're ready to take this new, you're ready for this new leap of faith. You're ready for this new beginning, okay? Um, and um, you, you know, you're just waiting, okay? This person, um, or this person is ready to take a leap of faith with you, Virgo. I don't, I don't know why I said Virgo. This could be a Virgo. I just said Virgo because of Hermit in reverse. This person may be ready to take a, a leap of faith towards you. Okay. It could be a strong Scorpio. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces. But I pick up a strong Scorpio that is very, very interested in you, Cancer. 
Okay, they'll go to communication. You're going to hear from this person uh, within eight days, eight hours, eight days. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's the air sign. Can also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it's a little bit of everybody in here. This person is coming in. They want to be reciprocal towards you. This person is a person that, that likes to give. They also may, their passion may be they like to help the less in fortune, all right? But you have this, you have the seven of pentacles. The cancer, you have really sold a lot of seeds into yourself. You have really did a lot of work on yourself and you deserve this that's coming towards you, whether this is this is a financial blessing or this is someone that's coming in that is financial well off, that they want to share their life with you. They see you. They want to take a chance with you. Um, and uh, they already they already see your demeanor that you don't have time for BS. But this person is going to reach out to you. OK. You also have the death card here, which is the ending. I feel as though that you have, you know, this person, you or this person have done a lot of, a lot of, um, dark night of the soul. You, you know, this person's not the same. You're not the same person. You both have been on your spiritual journey. Okay. This person thinks about you a lot, cancer. This person overthinks about you a lot, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is all in their head. When they think about you, look, they daydream. They think about you, okay? They see you as their happiness. This person really, really wants to invest in you. They see you as their long, lost, long life partner, okay? This person is also moving away from, a, this is you could be moving away from a rough situation, going into calmer water, so this is them. Uh, some of you could be moving away from your baby daddy, baby mama, however it goes. But you're getting ready to go right into calmer waters. You see the calmer waters? I feel like also this person, if some of you have been trying to get away from your baby daddy, baby mama, this person here is coming to relieve you. It's, it's, that's going to be the person that's going to be for you, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to follow your heart towards this person, all right? Um also, I feel like in the past you have dealt with a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, okay? But this is some Russian energy coming in. Ooh, this is some Wheel of Fortune energy coming towards you. Cancer, this is something that is meant to be. It was meant for this person to pull you away from this toxic energy, this karmic person that you were with, this person that's coming to, to, to help you, to pull you into calmer waters over there. This may be the person that is destined for you That's because this is someone rushing in. For some of you, this person that really has the eye on you, think that you are their lifelong partner, really feel that y'all are destined to be together. They or he or she are moving away from that person and coming straight to you. You, they see you as the, uh, the uh, queen of pinnacles. You have a lot. You have persevered. This person has persevered a lot, been through a lot. Okay. But they have, they have feelings for you. Okay. So, so let's see what else is going on. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. This person's laying down their ego. What's behind that? Yeah. I also feel like you are, you are going to be very defensive when this person comes. Okay, but this person can always uh, also be trying to manipulate you. But you, you, you know what's you listen to your intuition. Okay, this I don't feel like this is a bad uh, manipulation. I feel like this is you know them you know trying to get you to talk to them when they come in and reach out to you. Yeah, I don't feel like they're trying to to do anything deceiving to you. Okay, but they they definitely uh, see you. Been seeing your pictures. They have a crush on you. They want to express their feelings to you. Um, and so, you know, tell me more for cancer. Yeah, they're gaining the strength, okay, the confidence. They're not playing any games, okay, the page of wands in the reverse. This is not a mature person. They see you as, ooh, they see you as their partner. Oh, my goodness, they see you as their partner. They see you as a tag team. I told you. I say they see you as the one. They see you as their long, long life partner. This person sees you as y'all both can create so much together. Look at there. Oh, my goodness, cancer. Wow. Yeah, this person sees you, honey. Yeah, they done been through a lot. You done been through a lot. You done persevered. They done persevered. And they're coming in, baby. <laughs> Allow this to happen. Allow this. Okay. What's that? Choice. <laughs> it says, you are being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness into your life cancer sometimes without even realizing it we block ourselves from the flow of life 
it's safe to open yourself back up. So Spirit Guides is saying, I know you have your guard up. I know you have your guard up, but spirit guys is saying, allow this because this is showing this is destined and this person is rushing to you. Okay. They're rushing to you and y'all are definitely, excuse me. Y'all are definitely a tag team. Y'all are definitely Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Y'all are definitely lifelong partners. All right. So spirit guys is saying, allow this open up, allow this to happen. Okay. You deserve it. Tell me more. Woo, thank you. Oh, there you go. Connect. Okay, abundance is at the bottom of the deck. You got connect and you have abundance. And you got uh, worth. You, your worth, you know it. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you and this person is going to connect on some type of internet. Maybe possibly this is how you're going to meet this person. You're being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways. Sometimes it's helpful to get new perspectives and to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now and deep connection will benefit you in many ways. So I feel like you're going to connect on the internet, but you also have abundance here. Okay. And it says, yeah, it's a lot of abundance in this, in this, in this connection between you two. You're being asked to open up to abundance to believe that you're deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you. This is the first important step towards receiving it. Breathe deeply and trust that it is on its way. For some of you have been waiting for a breakthrough with your finances, it's on its way. The abundance, some type of payout, some type of settlement, some type of deed, inheritance, uh, something that's owed to you, alimony, child support, whatever it is, it's coming towards you. Just be ready for it. It's coming. Uh, for the rest of of you this person is rushing into your life that sees that y'all are destined y'all y'all signed the contract before you came to earth y'all are destined to be it was written in the books that you two are meant to be together okay so i feel like you're about to be line, uh, realigned back up with each other uh the ten of pentacles this is your lifelong partner a lot of fruitfulness a lot of abundance in this reading uh, a connection i feel like you're going to connect on the internet somehow you, that may be where you both going to find each other Okay. One more card, spirit guides for cancer. One more card for cancer. Thank you. One more card for for cancer. Thank you. Keep going, cancer. Okay. Spirit guides are saying, keep going. Don't don't block your blessings. Let this flow. It says it may feel though it may feel as though you are on the wrong. Um, let me read this again. It may feel as though you've been on this path and journey for a long time. And you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. For So for a lot of you that uh, with your abundance, with the money, or with, with something that you're trying to create, generational wealth cancer, Spirit God said it may seem like you're not getting anywhere, but you are. Just keep going. Don't stop. Because when we stop, a lot of people have a tendency of stopping right when the breakthrough is coming through. So Spirit Guides is saying, keep going because your abundance is coming. Okay. But as I see this connection, as I see this beautiful reading, uh, you definitely have someone rushing in towards you that y'all are going to build together. You're going to have a lot together. Okay. Yeah. You're going to work good together. Okay. It's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of obsession in this uh, connection between you two. Congratulations. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been wanting. Look what's peeping out. The marriage card is peeping out. This is what you've been wanting. 11, 11. Y'all are going to conquer a lot together. Okay, you're going to be on your. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of look 10 toes down a lot of celebration a lot of love. Okay, a lot of love in this L loving connection marriage patience in this connection. Oh, a lot a lot. Yeah, so get ready you got you got Russian you know, Russian things when it comes down to your finances and also when it comes down to your love life cancer. You have a lot of beautiful things coming into your life. Someone's going to reach out to you. Someone sees you as <laughs> as the one, as the one, as the everything in here, okay? You're going to work good together. You're going to, you might be someone that you work with, okay? If it's not that, you're going to work good together, okay? Uh, some of you uh, with your work, okay? Spirit guides are saying keep going, okay? With this abundance, uh, this abundance, keep going because your hard work is going to pay off, okay? Your hard work will pay off with the Ten of Pentacles here in your reading. It's going to pay off very, very, very uh, good for you, okay? It is destined for you, so don't give up, all right? 
you have the wheel of fortune here and spirit guides are saying don't give up uh, a lot of great things is happening a lot of things are rushing towards you all right and for a lot of you soon as you um soon as you come out of this karmic you're going right over into you that's when i feel like this person this soulmate person this this twin flame person is going to show up show up in your life and show up in your life big time okay big time they're rushing into your energy they see you single beautiful and they're going to reach out to you this person's going to reach out to you and they're going to change your life y'all are going to connect you're going to connect the dots with each other. You're going to connect because you're destined to be together. That's why you're going to connect. 1515 just came up on my screen. 1515. Get ready because you got rushing. You deserve this. Allow this to happen. You know, allow this to happen in your life. Okay. It says allow. Sometimes without even realizing we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up, okay? Allow this person. I know you've been through a lot of hurt and pain with the previous relationship, okay? But you're moving over to calmer waters. That means that someone is getting ready to come in. A lifelong partner is about to come into your life. And guess what? Y'all are destined to be together. I am Positive Thoughts Energy, Cancer. Until next time.